Good day everyone, welcome again to Sir Phil's channel for another video lesson and today we're going to talk about completing perfect square trinomial and its factors. So today in this video our objective is we're going to deal with uh, uncomplete perfect square trinomial. So what we're going to do is to complete it using a certain process and after that we're going to convert it or factor it into a square of binomial this is still line with the in line with the fast math talk our new segment in this channel so please keep on watching my videos and subscribe for more learning materials in this channel so Again, today we'll be uh, in this video. We'll be dealing with uh, the perfect square trinomial and the square of binomial. So, having these equations on the on your left side, we have the perfect square trinomials, and we have here the square of binomials. So, a squared plus two ab plus b squared can be converted as a perfect square uh, as a square of binomial which is equivalent to quantity a plus b quantity squared other uh we have also a squared minus 2ab plus b squared which can be converted as a square binomial or can be factored as quantity a minus b quantity squared so as you can see the operation on the square binomial depends on the operation of the middle term or the sign of the middle term of the perfect square trinomial so i'm going to teach you now how to complete a perfect square trinomial at the same time how to convert or factor it into a square of binomial in which this lesson is a prerequisite in our next topic which is solving quadratic equation using the completing the square so we're going to use this particular lesson on that solving quadratic equation by completing the square okay let's start okay let us have sup suppose we are given x squared plus 6x plus blank so our objective here is to find the third term of this perfect square trinomial so what we're going to do with this is that we get the numerical coefficient of the middle term which is 6 and we divide it by 2 which is equal to 3 after dividing uh, we're going to square the quotient so that will be 3 squared which is equal to 9 9 now will be the third term of the perfect square trinomial so the the resulting expression or quadratic expression is now x squared plus 6x plus 9. After that, since this is already a perfect square trinomial from the process, we're now going to factor it or convert it into a perfect square, uh, into a square of binomial. So what we're going to do is to get the square root of x squared, which is x, the first term, and then get the square root of 9, which is the third term. The square root of 9 is 3. And then the operation will be now depending on the sign of the middle term, which is positive or the plus sign. So that will become the square root of x squared, which is x plus, which is the sign of the middle term, and then the square root of 9, which is 3. And then we, get, uh, we put quantity and then squared. This is now the equivalent square of binomial of x squared plus 6x plus 9 which is a perfect square trinomial let's have another example let us suppose we are given x squared minus 8x plus blank so again we get the numerical coefficient of the middle term which is negative 8 and then we divide it by 2 so negative 8 divided by 2 is equal to negative 4 after getting the quotient we're going to square it. So this will become negative 4 quantity squared, which is now equal to positive 16. After getting that, 16 is now our third term of the perfect square 
trinomial and that is x squared minus 8x plus 16. After doing that, we have already our perfect square trinomial. We are now ready to convert it into a square of binomial. So by that, we get the square root of x squared, which is x, and then uh, copy the sign of the middle term, minus, and then get the square root of the third term, which is 16. The square root of 16 is 4, and then put quantity squared. So this is now the square of binomial. Okay, let's have another example. Suppose in this example, we are given x squared minus 3x plus blank. So this time, the numerical coefficient of the middle term is not divisible by 2. So what we're going to do is just still divide it by 2. And that will result into negative 3 over 2. And then... The resulting quotient, which is negative 3 over 2, we're just going to square them. So if we square it, this will become positive, and then we square the numerator. At the same time, we square the denominator. So 3 squared is 9 over 2 squared is equal to 4. So the resulting value is 9 over 4. So 9 over 4 is now our third term of the perfect square trinomial. So the resulting expression is now x squared minus 3x plus 9 over 4. So for us to get its factor or to convert it into a square of binomial, again, we get the square root of x squared. So the square root of x squared is x, and then copy the sign of the middle term minus, and then get the square root of 9 over 4. So just, we're just going to uh, get the square root of 9, which is 3, over the square root of 4, which is 2, quantity squared. So this is now your square of binomial. So we're going to use this process in the, the solving of quadratic equation by completing the square. So this is a very important part of the steps in solving quadratic equation by completing the square. Okay, so I think we are now ready for our fast exercise. So what we're going to do is to complete the following perfect square trinomials, just like what we did before, and factor each as square of binomial. So I will give you two minutes to finish the fast exercise, and your time starts now.
is up. Okay, so let us now reveal the answers for this fast exercise. Okay, so we have here for number 1, x squared plus 12, x plus 36. So the equivalent square binomial of that is x plus, three quantity, ah, x plus 6 quantity squared. So that is the square root of x squared x. And then copy the sign of the middle term, plus. And then the square root of the third term, 6 quantity squared. Number 2, we have x squared minus 14x plus 49. So get the square root of x squared, which is x. Copy the sign of the middle term minus, and then the square root of the third term, square root of 49 is 7. Quantity squared. Next, for number 3, we have x squared plus 7x plus 49 over 4. So we get this, the, the square root of x squared, which is x, and then the sign of the middle term plus, and then the square root of 49 is 7, square root of 4 over 2. Quantity squared. Okay, see you again in my next video. Uh, this is the prerequisite of solving quadratic equation by completing the square. So expect our next fast math talk will be completing the square in solving quadratic equation. Again, this is Sir Phil and this is Sir Phil's channel. Thank you for watching.